Hi, I'm Dave Vickers and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. This is the third part in the skin softening series. Uh, and In the first part we looked at using the healing brush and the patch tool to clean up blemishes on the image. And in the second part we were looking at using the uh, various techniques to soften the skin. So this is how we started off with the image. And this is where we've ended up after using the healing brush and skin softening. You can see it's made quite a difference. It's taken out a lot of the blemishes, it's softened the skin, it's cleaned up the tones around the skin as well. But it's still quite a naturalistic looking image. We haven't gone too far and made it too plastic and dull like. What I want to do in this third part is to look at using the dodge and burn tools within Photoshop to bring out the highlights and shadows of the image and give it a little bit more def definition, a little bit more pop. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a blank layer over the top of our layer here. So come down to the bottom of your palette here, and next to the dustbin, your little folded paper icon, click that, and that's now given us a blank layer. As you can see, it's got the checkerboard on it, which is Photoshop's way of showing no information. Now we need to come up to Edit, Fill. And you can see here we've got a number of options. It will normally come up as foreground color. If you do the drop-down menu, down at the bottom here we have 50% grey. So click that and click OK. And now you can see it's filled that image with 50% grey. But at the moment we can't see the original image below to do any work on it. That's because what we need to do is change the blending mode. Up here the blending mode is set on normal. If we do the drop down menu and come down to overlay and click that, you can now see that we can we're still on the 50% uh, grey layer, but we can see the image underneath. And if we turn it on and off, it has absolutely no effect at all because the overlay is allowing us to see through. So, what we want to do is start using the dodge and burn tools here to bring out the highlights and the shadows of the image. If you come along across to your toolbar on this side, the dodge and burn tools are just below the water drop icon there. Uh, and if you click that, you've got two options. You've got your dodge tool, which looks like a, a little paddle and a stick and your burn tool which looks like a hand. These both come from darkroom techniques from uh, printing photographs under an enlarger. In the old days with the, you'd use a dodge tool, something like a little uh, piece of cardboard or paddle that you would flick between the light coming from the enlarger and the photographic paper to hold back the amount of light to make areas lighter in the finished image. Um, then the, the burn tool looks like a hand and in the darkroom again what we, you would do is shape your hands and leave an area for light to pass through so that you could control which areas of the image were being darkened up and re receiving more light in the printing process. So that's basically what they are. So let's choose the dodge tool. Uh, I've set the range to mid-tones and I've set the exposure to about 9%. It's very low but it gives you a lot more control over how the finished image looks and how much work you're actually doing. You can see on the screen we've got a brush icon tool, uh, tool icon and again as with all the brushes in Photoshop you can decrease the uh, size using the left hand square bracket or increase the size using the right hand square bracket. So we'll bring that down a little bit and we're on the dodge tool now so we're looking for areas of highlight. So we, you can see we've got an area of highlight down the nose there so we'll start by just stroking that through like that. And we use this for, for lightening up any areas that we want to. You can see this, it's a little bit dark under the eyes, so let's lighten that up a touch. And because we're on such a low opacity, uh, low exposure range, it's actually quite hard to see the effect taking place. But just pick any areas that have highlights on them and just give a little gentle brush through on them. And start to work them through. Now at the moment it doesn't look like we've actually done much. Let's do a little bit on the eyes here. You can lighten up the whites of the eyes. I don't do this too much because you whiten the eyes too much and it does look really fake. So if I turn that on and off now, you can see where we've lightened certain parts of the area. And it does make quite a difference. Um, next we'll sw let's switch over to the burn tool now. So switch to the burn tool. Again, I've got it set to mid-tones, and I've got the exposure set to about 6%. The burn tool tends to be a little bit stronger than the dodge tool. So now we're looking for the opposite. We're looking for areas that you want to darken down, areas of shadow, just to give a little bit more definition into the image and start to 
bring it through. And you can see here, I'm actually going to zoom out a little bit on this image so we can work a little bit more and see what we're doing. Again, I'm still on the burn tool. And because it's on such a low exposure, it's actually quite hard to see what effect you're having on the image so far. So we'll just do a little bit of work here. And then we can have a look. Just keep going. I'm just picking out darker areas in the hair. All these things will just give a little bit more definition to the image. Come under there. There's a nice bit of shadow on the chin area there. Nice bit of shoulder blade there. Let's zoom the image out completely. And we'll just work on some of the other areas where there's little areas that could do with darkening it up. The creases in the in clothes as well work really well using the dodge and burn tool. So let's pull a, bit, a little bit of definition into those as well. Okay, let's switch back to the dodge tool now and hit the, some more of the highlights. Just areas that you want to lighten up a little bit. And it really just adds definition to your image. It's got a little bit up there and a little bit there as well. Okay, so it maybe doesn't look like we've done too much at the moment, but if I turn this layer on and off, there's the before and there's the after. Before and after. And you can see it's quite a dramatic effect. It's actually it's putting more shape and definition into the face as well as pulling out those highlights. If that's too much for you, you can always lower the opacity there and just bring it down to a level where you're happy. We'll bring it back up there. If I turn the layers off underneath, you can see there on the 50% grey layer where, where I've hit with the, the, the lighter areas obviously from the dodge tool, the darker areas are from the burn tool. So that's the areas that I've picked up and made an effect of. We'll just go around a little bit more with this, do a little bit more with the burn tool, darken a few bits up again. Just bring that area down there. Do a little bit around this side of the face. Behind the lips. You can see there, before and after, before and after. And if that effect's not enough for you, you can then duplicate this layer again. So if we go Control and J, now you can see we're really getting into a really hyper-realistic looking image. Um, that to me is way, way too much. You could try and drop the opacity again to try and bring it back down to a usable level. That's not too bad. But I think actually we were better off with just the one layer. So I'll delete that top layer there. And we'll bring this back up to 100%. Let's have a quick look there. So before and after. Let's zoom into 100% here. There we are, 100% on the screen of the image. This is how we are now, having used the healing brush to clean up the blemishes, the skin softening technique to smooth out the skin and the texture, and dodge and burn to add a little bit more definition. So let's have a look. This is where we started with the image. This is the before, and this is the after. Before and after. I think it's still, even though we've done quite a bit of work on it, it's still a realistic looking image. It still looks uh, natural, it doesn't look too fake. Uh, and we've cleaned up a lot of the, the areas of, of skin. They, they're a, the texture's a lot more uniform all the way across. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm Dave Vickers. Um, till the next tutorial, see you then. Bye bye.